this video, I am going to be talking about safeguarding yourself from narcissists. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, PayPal links in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Safeguarding against narcissists. The condition of the environment we see today promotes the growth of narcissism. Resources are in short supply, so people have to resort to cheating, lying and stealing. They don't consider the consequences of their actions or how it might affect the people around them. All they care about is the gratification that they are looking for in that moment. Instant gratification. Many people are deprived of certain benefits, which then produces more narcissism in society, where people are only looking out for themselves. This can also trigger them to become envious of people who may have an abundance of resources. It breeds entitlement and a lack of empathy for the people around them. It causes them to become desperate. The more competitive it becomes out there, the more people are going to resort to exploitation or taking advantage of their generosity without giving anything in return. As survivors of narcissistic abuse, we may be looking for emotionally healthy people who are going to compliment us. But there are so many people out there who are in survival mode. They have no plans for the future. They are just trying to get through the day. They will feed off you and drain you of your resources, but they have no intention of replenishing anything that they have taken from you. Once they have taken whatever you have to offer, they are off to their next unsuspecting target. They are in survival mode and they are desperate. They have a sense of hopelessness in a situation that is impossible to deal with and yet they have a great need or desire for something. Naturally, they have to resort to extreme measures to get what they want. Cheating, lying, stealing, whatever they've got to do to survive. While you are recovering, this is something you have got to be aware of. You are going to come into contact with people who are looking to exploit or take advantage of you, rather than contributing anything or trying to build with you. You have to look for people who are self-sufficient. People who have a satisfactory or acceptable amount in quality or quantity. 
people who have resources and do not need anything from you. People who are independent and do not need to depend on anyone outside of them. This goes for friendships, relationships and family. Look for people who are financially and emotionally stable. People who are not going to use you as an emotional crutch. You don't want people to drain you of your money or your energy. But people who don't have enough, people who have an insufficient amount of money or energy, are going to be looking to exploit or take advantage of you in some way. Narcissists will lie, steal, whatever it takes to secure you as a source of supply and ensure that you look after them. People who are deprived of certain benefits or resources will resort to these desperate measures to get what they want. They are in survival mode, with no plans for the future, just trying to get through the day. They don't have the necessary qualities or capabilities that they would need to compete in society. But they want so many things. It's very frustrating for them. So they resort to lying, stealing, and just using people for whatever they can get out of them. This is why you need to look for people who are self-sufficient. People who already have what they want. People who are not looking to take or use you for anything. You need to take the proper measures to identify who you are dealing with and if you are dealing with narcissists, you need to minimize your contact or emotionally detach or disengage from them. Only associate yourself with like-minded people who believe in equal exchange or reciprocation. People who are going to give you a return on what you have invested in them or in the relationship. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.